Ready? Ready? Are we dancing? Are we dancing? You ready to give him an update on all things Revelin? Hey guys, so today I am here to do Revelin 7 and 8 month update. I promised you I was going to do that this week and it is going to happen. I didn't have time to write down notes of what actually happened, so it's going to be a little bit rambly, but I'll try and keep it concise as I can. Hopefully I don't forget anything. Um, there weren't really any like huge milestones that she's reached because I think kind of the uh, six to nine month range depending on their development there's not like a ton of huge things like she sits up perfectly fine on her own now but she isn't crawling yet she hasn't pulled herself up and I think partly that is due to how small she is. Her next appointment isn't until nine months so it's the end of this month so her last one was six months so I still don't have any percentiles for her um, or weight or height or anything but a week before we left for Colorado she had an ear infection so that is something that has happened and sorry if the lighting goes off it's because I'm using just daylight and so the sun goes behind clouds or comes out it gets brighter and darker um, but when we took her to urgent care for her ear infection they weighed her and she was about 15 pounds so she is a tiny girl this is a nine month um, so like six to nine month Carter's onesie and it's humongous on her and it's super long Let's see if I can show you I mean like there's a she's like what are you doing there's like a ton of excess on her because she is not really in six to nine yet she still fits pretty much all of her zero to three onesies and she fits her three to six ones really nicely too but all of her zero to three still fit with a little bit of room so um but i mean i don't buy any zero to three anymore if i buy anything it's three to six or six to nine she can fit six to nine sleepers but she doesn't fit zero to three sleepers at all anymore she's outgrown that height wise and then the zero to three dresses she obviously doesn't really fit anymore they're now like shirts for her um but she's just my little my little tiny little girl she's my little tiny little girl um people are always surprised like when i say how old she is and how small she is just because she is very tiny but that's okay she's been growing fine at least from my eyes she looks to be growing fine she's not like getting super super skinny or anything this is kind of like the scarier time for a breastfeeding mom because she goes three months without me getting to really know if she's gaining proper weight or not um, and she doesn't like ask to be breastfed like super frequently or anything like that so she I'm sure she's fine but she now is at the point where she needs solids when you start solids they don't really need it um, and it's just more so to get them used to it obviously but it's not really that they need that extra um, food but now she really does she needs solids and she needs breast milk and it's not because my supply has gone down my supply has gone up with her intake need going up so my supply has been pretty heavy duty lately for her, um, but she just needs the extra amount of food. So she eats two to three times a day, dependent on the day um, and how her nap schedule was, because she's having a little bit of trouble with naps. But she loves food, yes, but she does not like homemade food. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this child doesn't like anything that's like really good for her. Tried cloth diapering with her. She didn't like cloth diapers tried to make her food. She didn't like her food. It was really weird with her food though because she really liked what I was making her in the beginning. She did great with it. She would eat almost everything that I gave her. She did eat everything. And then all of a sudden she just decided, I don't want to eat the food that you make. And I thought maybe it was because it was frozen. Maybe she just didn't like that it was frozen and she preferred it to be fresh. But that wasn't it either because even I tried like remaking stuff fresh for her and she still wouldn't eat it. And she just got really picky. She wouldn't eat anything and it was kind of a problem because obviously they need to get used to solids and she wasn't letting me help her get used to them because she wouldn't eat them. And on our vacation, I just bought some of the Ella's Kitchen like pre-made purees pouches for her and because I wasn't gonna make food for her while I was gone and she ate them, no problem. Did not have an issue, just ate the entire thing perfectly fine and she was happy with it. So when we got back, I tried doing my homemade again and she wouldn't eat them. And I was like, as much as I don't want to spend the money and I'd rather make her her food, I'm buying purely organic puree pouches for her uh, and snacks. She has these little like teething wafer things that like uh, dissolve in her mouth and she eats these Cheerio type 
there I mean like it's that consistency of a cheer she eats those kind of things so she does fine with the cheer consistency type foods and then she does good with purees and she literally everything that I've put in front of her from I think the company I'm using is happy baby it's organic I get it at Target um, she has eaten everything has not had a sim single issue with anything I have put in front of her and she eats an entire pouch in one sitting and yeah she's a good eater but just not a good eater of my food which I really hope that because I'm gonna start giving her more like real foods soon I really hope that she doesn't have an issue with that and it's maybe just the homemade purees that she doesn't like but we'll see right yeah as long as you're getting food in your tummy that's all that mama cares about so sleep wise she at night she goes between eight and ten hours without me getting her or feeding her anything she sleeps and then she wakes up she eats and then she goes back down for the rest of the time she sleeps a total of about 12 hours she goes down awake goes to sleep on her own but naps right now are not good um, it's about an hour at a time she doesn't want to sleep more than an hour she takes one one hour nap in the morning an hour after she wakes up and then she takes two to three hour nap two to three more hour naps throughout the day dependent on just how tired she is so that's kind of what we're dealing with right now i can't get her to sleep past an hour and i mean it's not bad it's dealable with her um having that schedule but i would like for her to just sleep three or four hours straight for one afternoon nap instead of having to wake up every hour right yeah mama could get so much more done Oh, in regards to breastfeeding, my obstetrician has recommended that I stop breastfeeding at 20 weeks. <laughs> and I wasn't really thrilled to hear that, um, but that is right when she turns a year. And I wanted to make it to at least a year, so I'm not like super upset about it, but I am upset that I'm gonna have to start the weaning process before she turns a year. And I wanted to start the weaning process when she turned a year. I'm gonna do more research on it, but my obstetricians are extremely knowledgeable and they obviously, because our like hospital and obstetricians, they're very pro breastfeeding, like very, they wouldn't suggest me to stop if it wasn't really an issue. And she mentioned it had something to do with the oxytocin that enters your breast milk supply around 20 weeks is the issue. So, <laughs> she's playing with her toy. I am going to do the research myself and really make the decision, but unfortunately I probably will have to stop breastfeeding her around a year. So, that's a bummer, right? Yeah. So elimination communication wise, I am fairly certain that she is now 100% poop potty trained. She has not pooped in a diaper, I think since four and a half months. Well, she had, okay, so the time she stopped pooping in a diaper, she was four and a half months. So that was like, but she had one time she pooped and it was because she had diarrhea. So like she just, I couldn't get her to the bathroom in time. Like it was literally seconds before I set her on the potty. So that wasn't really her fault. It was cause she was sick. And so there wasn't much I could do about that. So technically she has been fully poop potty trained for almost four months. Yeah, almost four months. You have not pooped in a diaper minus the one time she was sick. So she's done awesome peeing. Um, she's gotten a little more difficult. I think she's kind of backed, backtracked a little bit with peeing. And I think a lot of that had to do also with being on vacation and such. She just got used to peeing in her diaper more. She still pees on the, on the toilet and she will still hold it to some extent, but she doesn't hold it as much. And it's not really a huge deal. Uh, I think as she gets older and more understands, then the peeing will become an easier thing for her to get used to just doing on the potty. So, uh, I mean, elimination communication, it kind of happens at a different pace. And honestly, if I could choose between pee and poop as 100% potty trained, I would choose the poop. So, I mean, I much prefer wiping a tiny bit off her butt after she goes and then like full wipe and worrying about blowouts. We don't have to worry about those, do we? No. No, you did so good. Can I take that out? Happy babies don't need pacifiers, do they? You're gonna eat that. She has begun to kind of get bored with toys. So we are currently right now on a like toy shopping spree hunt. This one right here, which, hold on, let me see if I can lift it up. This is like a toy cube that we got her. Hold on. Ooh, looks like this we got a bunch of man that thing is heavy all right oh my goodness like that okay Ooh. we got her that toy and she's been loving it and we are currently just looking at some other toys to get her to right now she just has completely outgrown the baby toy phase 
and I mean we were getting to a point where like we'd hand her just random objects in the house <laughs> and she'd inspect them for a few minutes and then she'd be done. She just uh, is very observant and she has been since she was a newborn basically. She's just always been a very observant baby and because of that though she gets very bored easily with stuff. So we are kind of like we're kind of constantly having to find new things to keep her attention and I mean it's not even just like by herself she'll get bored if like I try to play with her with toys and stuff like that so I am just kind of having a hard time too because I don't really want to buy her a bunch of electronic toys that's just kind of a personal thing like I'd like her to learn to have fun without electronics too she does have a few but I don't want to just buy a bunch of them just because they'll keep her happy so this one has been a great purchase it's different from any other cubes that I've seen it's by Hape and it's called the crawling critters the country, country, country critters something cube. I can't remember. I'll link it down below. It's, I got off Amazon if you guys want to take a look at it. I'll link it. Um, but there's no electronics. There's literally, there's things on this one that I have not seen on other cubes before. It is very pricey. It's almost $100. So um, thankfully though, we had a lot of Amazon points. So I paid like six bucks for it. But now knowing what I know, owning it, I would spend the money on it if I had to have. So it's definitely worth it in my opinion. And it's something that she can play with for years. She does stand fairly well. I mean, like she's leaning against me on her feet, but she won't like, she can't balance or anything like that yet. Right? Yeah. You're such a good girl. So she's not saying a lot of words, but she does understand a lot of words. So she understands the word jump. So like if she's in her jumper and we tell her to jump, 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 she'll jump. Um, or if like we have our like big uh, pleather, like lazy boy type rocking chair things. Um, and we'll tell her to rock, rock, rock. We always say things threes. I don't know why. It's just, I feel like it's a baby thing. <laughs> I don't know. Like we'll say rock, rock, rock and she'll rock back and forth. Um, or when we're on the potty, if I tell her to push, 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 she knows that she's trying to push poop out. Like normally I'll know when she's sitting on the potty if she's about to poop. And so I'll help her to like let her know kind of what she needs to do to get it out easier. And I'll say push, push, push. And then she'll literally try and push. So she does like understand things that we're telling her to do. Um, but she just obviously isn't talking. I mean, she's only eight months. So I'm not really worried about that. I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. Like she's reached big milestones or something that I'm just not mentioning. Um, but she did go on her first plane ride. That was a big thing. She did pretty good. I mean, she had spouts of whininess. She isn't a baby to fall asleep while holding her. And that was the biggest issue because we had three flights. We had a two and a half hour flight, a three and a half hour flight, and a four and a half hour flight, I think. So overall, she did very well. Um, it was just mainly when she was tired, it would take her a while to fall asleep. I would have to put her like in her carrier and kind of just let her cry a little bit and then she'd fall asleep. She just has never been a baby to fall asleep while holding her. She's never done that. Even while breastfeeding, she doesn't fall asleep. I think that's it, right? Can I set you up here? So I think that's gonna be it for her update. Like I said, there's just kind of new things she's been investigating and things she's experienced, not so much big milestones, um, but she's been doing great and she does great in her crib. She <laughs> is just kind of learning to explore. And I'm sure though in the next month or two, she'll start crawling. She's getting there. She pushes herself really high and she can crawl backwards, <laughs> but she hasn't figured out how to crawl forwards yet. So we'll get there, right? Yeah. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, right? Are we ready to go? Oh, don't don't dance too much, girl. <laughs> I will see you guys next week. Bye. Now, the main reason I'm doing like a actual pregnancy, so-and-so week's pregnancy update um, is because I don't actually know how many weeks I am along yet. And that's the question I get asked the most, which is how many weeks along are you so far, Ariana? And I don't know because I still haven't had an ultrasound. And it's partially my fault, partially my obstetrician's fault, 